After 10 weeks of NFL action, the playoff picture is slowly forming shape. We're going to go over that and some of the key matchups to look forward to in Week 11 right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe and welcome to this AFC Playoff Picture edition of Believer's Talk where we're going to take a look at the current AFC Playoff Picture. We're going to look at the teams currently in certain slots and we're going to look at the teams on the outside looking up, trying to get in, playing at time left, still only week 10 in the NFL season, uh, but the playoff picture is beginning to come more into focus, right? And so we're going to talk about what looks like after 10 weeks, and then obviously every Tuesday from here to the end of the season, we're going to be posting a new AFC playoff picture edition. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, again, my name is Joe, make sure you hit that subscribe button for not only Buffalo Bills content, Buffalo sports content, but every Tuesday from here to the end of the season, we'll talk AFC playoff picture every Wednesday I give you my picks both straight up and against the spread so whether you're here because you're a Bills or Buffalo sports fan or you're here because you like some NFL football make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video and tell me what you think in the comment section about the current AFC playoff picture let me know who your team is and what you think their chances are to make the AFC playoffs. So we're going to start with what happened last week. So we're just getting down week 10 of the NFL season, moving into week 11. So what happened in week 10 and where does that leave AFC teams when it comes to this playoff picture? Well, first, obviously, we're going to talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers, number one overall seed. In fact, still the only undefeated team in the NFL, sitting at 9-0 and after a win on Sunday against the Cincinnati Bengals, a, a win that uh, they really blew the Bengals out from start to finish. I think this offense for the Pittsburgh Steelers looking really good. This defense is still spot on where they left off last season. The Pittsburgh Steelers are a real threat, okay? A real threat not only uh, to take the AFC crown, but also to represent the AFC in the Super Bowl and possibly even win at that time. You got good coaching with Mike Tomlin. You got good quarterback play with Ben Roethlisberger. You got great weapons on the outside with Smith Schuster and others. I mean, you, you know how... Uh, uh, the guy from Notre Dame, he's making a name for himself as well. Over there, Claypool, he's doing a great job. So they're sitting at 9-0. and They're sitting pretty, especially after the Baltimore Ravens lose Sunday night to the New England Patriots. So that means both the Ravens and Browns 6-3. and three. So where does that leave them in the playoff picture? We'll talk about them in a little bit. But that means the Steelers, after 10 weeks, have three games on both those teams looking good to be uh, representing the AFC North. They have some tough competition ahead. So they don't want to slip up because the team behind them is just waiting for them to slip up. They only have one loss. That's the second seed. That's the Kansas City Chiefs sitting there with one loss at the two seed. Again, remember, only one team gets a bye in the playoffs for each conference. So the Chiefs really looking at that one seed, hoping to move on up with seven teams making the playoffs. So Steelers set one, the Kansas City Chiefs right behind that two, waiting for the Steelers to possibly slip up. Then you go to the three seed, you got our Buffalo Bills sitting at seven and three, a disappointing loss to the Arizona Cardinals. We don't need to go down that route again. The Bills coming into a week with a bye, hopefully get some gets rested, uh, get some players back that were injured or tested positive uh, over the weekend so that we can hopefully get that situation cleared up and be ready to go by week 12 when we play the Los Angeles Chargers. However, the Bills currently a three seed sitting at seven and three. At the fourth seed, you have you had a changing of the guard over this uh, over week 10. You have the Tennessee Titans falling to the Indianapolis Colts on Thursday night football. The Colts now sitting at six and three take over that number four seed uh, over the Tennessee Titans after that victory. So the Titans currently winning the AFC South. I think that's going to be, I mean, sorry, the Colts currently winning the AFC South. I think that's going to be a battle that goes back and forth quite a few times before the end of the season. Now you move on to the wild card teams. And again, remember you have three wild card teams five, six, and seven uh, going into this year's playoffs. The first time we have seven teams in the playoffs. And again, that could change depending on what happens with the pandemic as far as games getting canceled. That could move up to potentially eight teams uh, depending on how the NFL decides to handle any canceled games. But right now we have seven teams. I talk about the current four division leaders. Let's talk about the three wild card teams right now. You have the, uh, with the five seed, you have the Las Vegas Raiders. Las Vegas Raiders sitting 
at six and three. The uh, six seed, you have your Miami Dolphins also sitting at six and three after their win over the LA Chargers. And then the seventh seed, again, after their loss to the New England Patriots on Sunday Night Football, they fall to the seventh seed, sitting there at the number seven seed. So those are your three teams currently in the AFC playoff picture wild card race. But you do have some teams on the bubble with the same record as your five, six, and seven seed. So your five, six, and seven seed, the Raiders, Dolphins, and Ravens all hold a six and three record. You look at the eight, eight and nine seed, the Titans and the Browns also sitting at six and three, uh, respectively. So there's going to be a fight there for those three playoff spots, those three wild card playoff spots. And not only that, you look at the Dolphins, right? The Dolphins only a half game back now of our Buffalo Bills for that AFC East spot. So if the Bills think that they're in the clear, they are not. If the Dolphins think they're in the clear, they are not. Need to keep winning. Both teams need to keep on pace, keep winning. And then maybe that Week 17 matchup will mean so much more than we could have ever predicted it did at the beginning of the season. But hopefully for both these teams, either way, they find themselves in the playoff picture. Then you go down to that 10th team. And although they're not sitting at 6-3, and three, although we have five teams currently sitting at 6-3, and three, and they only have four wins after a big impressive win on Sunday Night Football. You can't count out the New England Patriots sitting at four and five right now on the NFL season. It feels like they're getting a little bit of their mojo, right? They just beat the Jets Monday night and then they come in this past Sunday night and they beat the Baltimore Ravens in New England. So you feel like they're getting getting their feet out from under them uh, and we'll see what happens. Obviously still a long way to go. Obviously they have some ground to make up but right now sitting at four and five, I don't think you can count out the New England Patriots now, personally, I think every other team below them, none of them have more than three wins. I think you can count them all out. If you disagree, let me know in the comment section. Let me know which team you think can make a run sitting with three wins or less. Again, I'm not thinking that they have a chance to currently stand at three and six. They'd have to run the table to go 10 and six. And I'm not sure if that would even be good enough with the way the AFC playoff picture is currently unfolding. Remember, you have you have five teams sitting at six and three vying for three spots. And then you have the Patriots right behind them. I just don't know with only three wins if you have given yourself enough opportunity to catch those teams. But again, let me know if you disagree in the comment section. So let's take a look at the playoff picture or some big playoff key matchups for the AFC in week 11. Again, week 11, we talked about the Buffalo Bills. They have a bye week, so they're going to be resting this week. You look at some of the key playoff matchups, however, the Steelers do play a game this week against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Not a key playoff matchup, but again, they need to keep winning so that way they stay a game ahead of the Kansas City Chiefs, the Jaguars, a team they should beat. They do have some tougher games on their schedule. Still have Baltimore another time, I believe. Still have Cleveland another time. The Buffalo Bills going to play there. Uh, so they still have a tough schedule coming up. Uh, so they need to win these games that they're supposed to win. And that starts the game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now you take a look at that two seed. And this is one of those big matchups that we have in week 11 when it comes to the AFC playoff picture. You have the Kansas City Chiefs going into Oakland to play the Oakland Raiders on Sunday night football. This is going to be a great Sunday night matchup, I think. If the Oakland Raiders, or the Las Vegas Raiders, I'm sorry, if the Las Vegas Raiders want to prove that they are uh, a team to beat when it comes to the playoffs, when it comes to the AFC West, if they still want an, a chance to win the AFC West, they must win this game. Kansas City going into Oakland this week on Sunday night football, and going to Las Vegas, as I messed that up a few times, uh, but going to Las Vegas to play Las Vegas. Vegas Raiders again Chiefs sit at eight and one the Las Vegas Raiders sitting at six and three hoping to pull off that upset victory and hoping to keep their their name in the hat when it comes to uh, winners of the AFC West so that's a big matchup for the Chiefs you talk about the three seed the Buffalo Bills they again have the bye week so you don't have to worry about the Bills this week have a week to kind of uh, mull over that loss this past Sunday against the Arizona Cardinals and uh you know, I, I feel bad for the Chargers, the team that the Bills face at the second half, at the end of the spy, because the last thing you want a team to do is sit there and sulk over for two weeks over a loss like the Bills had this past Sunday. I expect the Bills to come out uh, in Week 12 and dominate the game against the Chargers. That's my personal opinion, but again, maybe I'm a little biased. Who knows? They have the fourth seed. You have the Tennessee. T I'm sorry, the Indianapolis Colts. I believe the Colts will uh, play. Let me see what the, the Colts will play. The Packers. Uh, Going to be a tough game for the Indian. Indianapolis Colts uh, sitting at six and three. Again, a big win against the uh, 
Tennessee Titans, the Green Bay Packers just barely beating uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars in Lambeau Field. So the Colts could definitely win this game. Depends which Phillip Rivers shows up, of course. Uh, but the Colts could definitely win this game. But that's going to be a tough one for the uh for the Colts. To talk about the five seed, the Dolphins going to Denver, playing Denver Broncos. That's one of the teams with three wins in the AFC. Again, I think Denver's a lot tougher to play at home. I think a lot of people would agree with that statement, but I just don't know if they can beat this uh, Dolphins team. This Dolphins team's looking really good over the past few weeks. Gotten pretty hot. I think they're on a five-game winning streak currently. Uh, so going to Denver, let's see what happens. Of course, as Bills fans, we're hoping that the Broncos pull off the upset win, but this Dolphins team is just looking really good. At this point, they move on to uh, the, the seventh seed, the Baltimore Ravens, like we said, going up against the Tennessee Titans. Uh, so you have two teams who are currently either in the playoffs or the Titans are on the outside looking in. So this is another huge matchup between two potential AFC playoff teams. You have the Chiefs Raiders game, uh, Sunday Night Football. That's a huge matchup for both those teams. You have the Titans and Baltimore Ravens game. That's a huge matchup for both those teams as well as the Titans currently on the uh, the outside looking in. The Ravens currently sitting with that seventh spot. So big game there. Uh, you look at the Cleveland Browns who are on the outside looking in. They play the Philadelphia Eagles. So that might be a key matchup for them. The Eagles just losing to the Giants, sitting at 3-5-1. and one. I mean, you talk about the NFC East. Uh, I don't know who's going to win that division, but it's, it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty in that division. The Eagles sitting at 3-5-1. and one. But the Cleveland Browns at home have a chance to, to win a game and possibly move up to 7-3. and three. Chance to make the playoffs for the first time since 2001. So hopefully, uh, for their sake, they keep winning and put themselves in a good position to do that. Then again, we talk about another team that's on the outside looking in who I don't think we can count out just yet. The New England Patriots going to Houston, playing the Texans. Again, one of those teams with only three wins who I have already counted out. Again, let me know in the comment section if you think I'm a little too early with some of these uh, teams that I've counted out. Uh, but the Patriots sit at four and five, play against a Houston Texans team that they can definitely beat. Now the Texans can play, play spoiler in this spot, but here we are after week 10. Those are my teams that I think have a shot. Again, there's 10 teams total that I think still have a shot to make it into the playoffs. I think the Steelers are a lock. Maybe not the one seed, but if I was to say which teams are a lock in the AFC playoff picture, the Steelers would be a lock for me in the AFC North to win the division, to be honest with you. The Chiefs, I'm 85% sure they're going to win the AFC West. The matchup this weekend against the Raiders can go a long way to determine that. Uh, but I think either way, the Chiefs at least make the playoffs, if not control their own destiny when it comes to the AFC West. Again, then it gets a little tricky. Our Bills sitting at 7-3 and three going into a bye week. If the Miami Dolphins beat the Denver Broncos, which I think they will, then you're sitting at a tie atop the AFC East between the Bills and the Dolphins. And again, you can't count out the Patriots if they beat the Houston Texans. They'll be sitting at 5-5, five and five, maybe out of the divisional race, uh, but still definitely have something to say about the AFC playoff picture. Uh, so the Bills and Dolphins could be tied after this weekend for the AFC East. The Bills hold tiebreaker currently due to a win against Miami early in the season, but they still play each other again week 17 so that matchup might be huge for playoff implications then you go down to the Tennessee Titans or the Indianapolis Colts I'm sorry again playing the Packers currently the fourth seed and I told you about my wild card seeds right now you got the the five seed sitting there as the Las Vegas Raiders you have the sixth seed as the Miami Dolphins the seventh seed as the Baltimore Ravens so that's what's going on uh in the AFC again let me know what you think about this playoff picture down in the comment section, I gave you some of the matchups to look out for in week 11. Guys, no clinching scenarios yet. Only week 11 in the NFL. Uh, but those will be coming soon. And I'll give you a heads up when they're coming and what needs to happen for certain teams to clinch playoff spots or divisional uh, divisional crowns. So again, thank you for joining me on Believer's Talk. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And again, if you haven't already signed up uh, for the giveaway, giving away a Don BB signed Buffalo Bills jersey, BB in the comment section, B-E-E-B-E, -E -E, and that gives you a chance to win that Don BB signed Buffalo Bills jersey. So again, thank you guys so much. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go to wherethestampede.com for more ways to enter that giveaway. I look forward to talking to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.